We're going to stay mainly dry for the overnight hours into our day on Saturday, but then we'll start to see that the rain move into the area as we go about 7 o'clock here in western portions of Alabama. We'll start to see that rain move into the area, bringing us those showers. And those will continue into the overnight hours on our Saturday and into Sunday as well. The best coverage will be during the later afternoon portion and early evening hours of our Sunday. Even some uh, stronger storms could be in the mix. We could see some actual thunderstorms, not just rain showers across the area for us on our Sunday evening. But we'll definitely see some pockets of heavier rain uh, for our Sunday evening. Then that low track across southern Alabama and we'll begin to dry out for the day on Monday. I don't think we'll see any breaks in the cloud cover or if we do very small ones, but I think we will see things begin to finally dry out on our Monday and then clouds will finally break as we make it into the middle portions of the work week. Now again, we are dealing with spring today and that means that we are dealing with pollen as well. The main threats are from juniper and elm trees with the moderate category, even some close to that high level for us here, both uh, for Saturday and into Sunday. Good news is on Monday to start next week, we should be doing pretty well as far as the pollen counts go. Tonight though, patchy fog, 52 degrees with a lingering shower or two across the area. And then tomorrow back into the upper 60s and lower 70s with mainly cloudy conditions, but then those showers will move in later on in the evening hours into the overnight. And then Sunday will be a pretty rainy day with temperatures down into the low 60s for highs. The sunshine does return late in the day on Monday into Tuesday and temperatures warm back into the 70s. Unfortunately, that sunshine does not stay around for long. We see the rain come back into the forecast by Thursday of next week. So kind of a mixed bag, some rain this weekend and then drying out and then some more rain again next weekend. Philip.